Answer to this one should be negative 42. Answer is negative 15. Negative 6 is the answer. Answer to this one should be 1. Answer to this one should be 7. For this one, you should have y equals 2 times the quantity squared of negative 2 and then minus 5 times the negative 2 and then minus 2. So from this, you'll get 4 times 2, which is 8. From this is plus 10 and then minus 2. 18 minus 2 is going to be 16. Ten out of eighteen for homework, and that is fifty-six percent. All right. If you have credit for your homework, pick a number from one to twenty. The winning numbers are six, nine, ten, fifteen, and sixteen. Multiple choice before we get to the answers. Here are the answers for the homework. It's 1.4, the axis of symmetry, 1 point for having both zeros, and 1 point for the vertex. The graph is also going to be 1 point. So you're going to have 1, 2, and 3, and the graph will be 4. So the zeros are 1. Axis of symmetry 2, vertex is 3, graph is 4. In this case, the zeros are negative 1, negative 1 third. Axis of symmetry is negative 2 thirds, and the vertex is negative 2 thirds and 1 third. Are there any questions about that before we go to the graph? Here's the graph. My scale is 1's, but it's marked off every 5 at a 5, negative 5, and the same thing for the y axis. On the second one, the zeros are going to be one and a half. Positive one, positive half. Axis of symmetry is three over four, and the vertex is three over four, and then negative one over four. Are there any questions about anything on this page before we go to the graph? So as you can see, there are the zeros. You have a half and then one. It's a really tight fit in there. That would be one in which you would probably want to space it out. Maybe one every three blocks is going to be one. Then go another three blocks and be two on the x-axis. All right, number three. The zeros are negative half or 0 0.5, negative 0.5 and uh, 5.5. .5. Axis of symmetry, 2.5, and, and then vertex, 2.5, and, and then 9 and a fourth. Here's the graph for number 3. Here's example 1. What can I do with this? If I take a negative 1 out, I'm left with x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Is that factorable? Uh, four, times like negative one. 4 times negative 1, yes, that would do it. So you would have x plus 4 and then x minus 1. You need two numbers that multiply to get negative 4 and then add to get positive 3. Make a list of all the factors or all the pairs of numbers that would multiply to get negative 4. Find the pair that adds to get 3. Split them up in here with x's and their signs. What are the zeros for this? Negative 4 and 1. Negative 4 and 1. Alright, the axis of symmetry is negative b over 2a. So that's a negative, uh, not a negative, 
figure there, but it's a negative what? Negative 3, and then over 2 times negative 1. What does all that give me? 3 over negative 2. 3 over negative 2? Yeah. So it would all be a negative 1 and a half. Are there any questions about zeros and axis of symmetry? For the vertex, you're going to have to plug in the axis of symmetry, so it's y equals a negative quantity squared of negative one and a half, and then minus three times a negative one and a half, and then plus four. If you're going to do this on the uh, on a scientific calculator with parentheses, hit negative, left hand parenthesis, and then negative 1.5, right hand parenthesis, square symbol, minus 3, left hand parenthesis, negative 1.5, right hand parenthesis, and then plus 4. What should we get back? 6 and 1 fourth. 6 and 1 fourth. So that is your y value. So the vertex would be a negative one and a half and then six and a fourth. So here's the graph and we have to find the zeros first and those are at negative four and one. So we'll go to negative four, make a dot, and then one, make a dot. The vertex is a negative one and a half so when you go back that way on the x-axis, you can mark that as the axis of symmetry. But you have to go up six and a fourth. Six and a fourth from there is approximately right there. So I'm going to need some extra points to make this more precise. Where should my extra points come from? Negative five and two. So the original equation was y equals a negative x squared and then was it uh, minus 4x or minus 3x? Minus 3x and then plus 4x. So if I put in 2, if I put a 2 in there, that's a negative 4 minus 6 plus 4. So negative 10 plus 4 is going to be negative 6. So I would have to go down from here and mark on negative 6. 2, negative 6. Now the other one for negative 5 should come out to be 6 as well, but we'll plug it in to be certain. You should get negative 25 uh, plus 15 and then plus 4. So negative 10 plus 4 is indeed negative 6. So you'll come back with this one here. Alright, I probably should zoom back in and then draw it from there the best I can. This will be uh, going down, so it's going to look like this. And it keeps curving outward, but not by much. On the first practice, it's broken up into four. So the first one is just going to be the zeros for that one. You'll drop that off up here. For the practice problem, we have to find the zeros. I'm going to do the quadratic formula, which is negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times 4, all of that over 2 times 2. So that's negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 32, and that's over 4. So negative 6 plus or minus square root of 4 over 4 is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 2 over 4. You have two problems to do from there. One is negative 6 plus 2 over 4, and the other one is negative 6 minus 2 over 4. So for this one, it's a negative 4 over 4. The one on the right is a negative 8 over 4. That will give you answers of negative 1 or negative 2.
All right, for this bonus, it is a negative x equals negative 2 plus 6. So negative x equals 4. You have to divide both sides by a negative 1. x is negative 4. Bonus number 2 is negative 2 plus x equals 3. For the bonus, it's x equals 3 plus 2, which is a simple answer of 5. For this one, I just need the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is as simple as negative b over 2a. The b is 6. The a is 2. Negative 6 over 4 is not your final answer because it can reduce to this, or it could be this, or it could be this. Answer to this bonus is positive 3. I need the vertex. We have to plug in the x value we found, which was a negative 1.5. So y equals 2 times negative 1 and a half. It's the quantity squared of negative 1 and a half. And then plus 6 times negative 1 and a half. And then plus 4. If you put it in on a scientific calculator, it's going to be 2 left hand parenthesis negative 1.5. Right hand parenthesis squared plus 6 left hand negative 1.5 right hand and then plus 4 you should come back with the following y value which is not the solution to the question this is negative 0 0.5 or a half negative half the question is asking what is the vertex the vertex is a point so it's negative one and a half comma negative half For this problem, you can factor it to solve it or you could use the quadratic formula, but either way you do it, the answer is negative 2, 6. Next up is you have to graph it on a large sheet of paper, bring it up here and drop it off. Here's the graph. What are the zeros for the graph? Negative 1 and negative 2. Alright, so we'll plot that. Here's negative 1 and negative 2. I'll have to zoom way in for this. Negative 1, negative 2. What's the vertex? Negative 1 and a half and then 1 half. Okay, so negative is it? Negative 1 and 1 half and negative half. Okay, negative 1 and a half and negative half. So here is the middle, so that's negative 1 and a half and then half would be here. So if we're going to use uh, the points on either side of the zeros, we'd have negative 3 and then 0. What was the original equation? Y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Okay, y equals 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. And if I put a 0 in for that, I get back y. 4. So I'll put a dot up here on 4. The other one for negative 3 should give us the same thing, but we'll check. Uh, negative 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. And then plus 6 times a negative 3 is negative 18, so those cancel out, and you are left with a 4. So we'll put this one here. And now I've got to figure out how far out I can go. I think this is enough. So we'll do this, we'll change it to red, and I think I have to go like that. Alright, this is going to be touchy here, so I really have to zoom in. There's that side, and this side.
answer to this bonus is 11. Here's another bonus. For the bonus, 9 minus 15 is a negative 6, squared is 36 times 5 is 180, 180 minus 16 is 164, 164 plus a negative 60 is 104. Yeah, that's a negative sign there. And then when you divide it by 2, you come up with 52, because this plus this is 2.